Hello, internet, online community. Welcome to Sound Life Studios. This is my new spot in West Seattle. My name is Jared Mitchell. I'm a local artist, musician, producer. I moved into this new location at the end of 2023. And yeah, really excited to share it with you. I already started a project out of here with a local artist, Wicked Mouth. We're releasing an album uh, sometime in 2024. So stay tuned for that. I just began working on a second project and thought that the studio could be more than just a studio. So I thought, what does the world need? Another podcast from a white guy. No, I don't, I don't know. This show is going to grow and be, uh, hopefully something to promote positivity and online community, um, and starting conversations. So there'll be a lot of trial and error. Today's format will not be the format going forward. So expect things to change and grow. Uh, I'm using a basic format of like a top five type style video today just to get the ball rolling. I thought that might be a good idea, a good way to introduce myself to everyone out there, show off the new space and set the tone for what this channel is trying to be. Uh, that being said, we're here to promote that conversation. So leave comments below suggestions of future content that you would want me to cover or see. And if your intentions are bad and you're there to leave negative or hateful comments, I cannot stop you. I'm just not going to engage with it. And if you're new to the channel, I just don't want anyone to engage with that. I just don't want this space to be here for that. So got that out of the way. Episode one. Uh, yeah, we want to create a positive culture here from my kitchen counter, counter culture, insert song, I have to write one. However, we're going to get through this, uh, maybe some sloppy edits on the first episode. It is week one of 2024. We are trying to get the ball rolling. So without further ado, we're going to jump right into it with uh we got top three items here i got them separated so here we got my top daily weekly things i like to engage with and i'll begin here with this item it is called a so right um i bought these in 2021 they are really good for stretching out your neck back the soas pso like pterodactyl silent p uh, are good for stretching out here and my sciatica. So I had back surgery when I was 17, threw out my back a lot. As soon as I got these, it's been a world of difference. I use them five, six days out of a week. So if I can do them every day, I am. And uh, yeah, I just couldn't recommend them more. So check out P-S-O-R-I-T-E. So writes, they are awesome. Um, next, I'm going to move on to this Meta Quest 3. In 2022, I bought a Quest 2 and fell in love with it. I love gaming. It gives me options for fitness and learning as well. And I bought the Quest 3 this year when it came out. And it's just a, an excellent product. I love Demio. Uh, if you are a quester yourself, you can leave comments below of some of your favorite games. Um, trying to learn Japanese this year. So maybe this channel will see progress in that as well. There's an app on here called Noun Town, and I, I really enjoyed that as well. And as far as fitness, there is Thrill of the Fight and Lay Mills Boxing. And if I don't have time to set up my heavy bag, uh, it's just a great option to get a great sweat in, burn calories, uh, get my heart rate up. And this device has just allowed me to use my space here without needing to go to a gym or go out or take classes somewhere. Uh, incredible device. If you have the ability to try one of these out, I would suggest it. And then we'll move on to my last items here. I have the Beats Studio Pros and my AirPods. Surprise, surprise, the musician likes high fidelity sound. Uh, yeah, whether it's listening to my own music as I'm producing it or creating new tracks or whether it's listening to uh, new inspirational tracks, audiobooks, Talking to a loved one, just the sonics of it all uh, really matter to me. So this is something that uh, daily, weekly, I'm trying to uh, engage with as much as I can sound. And I want it to be good sound. So I invested in these products to 
help that uh, process be as smooth as it can, be as professional as it can, and give me the most joy out of the experience. Um, quick side note, I'm not sponsored by any of these products. I wouldn't not be sponsored by any of these companies if they wanted to reach out. Uh, but yeah, today's video wasn't to uh, be a commercial, but it is just some things that really bring me joy in my life that I am trying to promote. Uh, so just with that being said, I'm not being paid by any of these companies. Uh, I just genuinely enjoy these products. So those were my daily weekly tops. We're going to move over to this side. What I think are my top three uh, solid investments I've made over the last few years and just some stuff that really enriched my life and helps bring joy. Maybe I'm not doing it daily, uh, but it has significantly increased my life experience. So we'll go over those items real quick. We'll start with the home fitness corner over there. We have some kettlebells, uh, some MMA gloves, and some uh, heel wedges. And the kettlebells are great for just, like I said, I had back surgery. So the kettlebells allow for low impact but explosive movements. And if you haven't checked out kettlebells, they're a great way to work out, uh, do resistance training uh, without all of the impact. Um, the heels up wedges are great. If you've not checked out knees over toes guy, uh, protect your knees, start walking backwards, put your heels up. And I won't go into it too long, but look up knees over toes guy. Uh, and then lastly, I got my MMA gloves here. Started training Muay Thai in 2021, 2022, did some jujitsu, and so any martial art, any art for that matter, but specifically a martial art in the fitness case uh, is really good for your mind, body connectivity. Um, so if you are in martial arts and you want to leave a comment below what's your favorite martial art, could be jujitsu, Muay Thai, uh, karate, taekwondo, wrestling, boxing, just leave a comment below. Let me know why you love it so much and... Uh, yeah, maybe we can start a conversation there. Moving on to the next item here. I got the Boss RC505 Loop Station. Again, not being sponsored by these companies, but, you know, reach out to me if you want. So the Boss RC505 was a piece of gear I got a couple years ago that really allowed me to up my live performance. I combine it with my um, keyboard to be able to make drum sounds, violins, horns, electric piano, beatboxing, it all runs through here and I'm able to do a, a one-man band type of show which really opened up a lot of opportunities, uh, increased my ability to do a lot of shows uh, when you don't always have the option to have a full band but you need to accomplish that full band sound. This was great. It also allowed me to practice a lot of those instruments that I wasn't engaging in regular, regularly. Wow, got to work on speaking on this podcast. So we'll work on that. I'm not going to edit everything out on this first one. So that one's just going to live there on the internet. Cannot tell you how much I really do love uh, this RC505 loop station. Uh, incredible product. Check it out. Uh, lastly, we're going to look at my records here. Uh, not one specifically. My brother got me a record player for my birthday years back. I just upgraded and got a new one from Easy Street Records. Uh, great local record company here and yeah I my setups right over here it's a back groove vinyl record player uh, really love it got hundreds of vinyls from easy street so vinyl is just something that weekly if I can engage with it a few times if not every day there's something different being a millennial who grew up in the iPod generation about listening through an album and in its entirety, whether it's doing stuff around the house, it's a great way to break up the YouTube, the scrolling, uh, screen time, but still engaging with art. So, I mean, I could go through, we'll just do a, I'm just going to pick a random record here. Let's see what we got. Jay-Z, the blueprint. You know what I'm saying? I just got easy street. Thank you for all. We'll do another one too. We'll, see what you got but if you got a favorite vinyl why don't you leave a comment below of some of your favorite vinyls or your favorite vinyl shop what we got here lady gaga born this way boom bangers right it's just uh really fun to be able to listen through these albums and maybe i'll do some uh album reviews in the future again this channel is meant to grow thank you for coming uh checking it out if you're still here kudos 
Uh, real quick, we'll do a quick recap just to kind of talk about maybe what I want this format of the show to be. So for those of you who stuck around this long, yeah, here we are trying to build future shows. So I would love for the format to be a little bit like the Philip DeFranco show. If you haven't checked that out, it's a he's a YouTuber news show. I don't know if I'm going to cover news, but I really like the format and the layout, the editing of that show, the consistency of it. So we're going to try and work our way towards being on that level. And I think as far as the tone of the show, uh, it's not super serious. There will be some serious stuff because I will talk about just what things come up in my life. But for the most part, we want this to be light, uh, fun. So if you've seen the Tosh show, the new podcast by Daniel Tosh, or maybe a little bit like flagrant, not quite the Joe Rogan. I, I do want to have future guests on here. Uh, so not quite so comedy uh, centered, but I do want the tone to be fun, to be light and covering serious topics. And I just want, again, comments, leave them below. We're trying to grow positivity here. My name is Jared Mitchell. Thanks for checking out Counterculture. Thanks for checking out Sound Life Studios. We will see you in the future.